Yeah, with a reaction like that, I reckon Danny might have had a bet on celebrating Mummify's win in the Group 1 SA Derby on Saturday. He sought you out immediately. Did he have some money on it? Oh, I don't think so. I think he would have been concentrating on the uh, on the game. I don't think he was just excited to see the horse uh, get over the line. So now nah. you're one of eight owners. Career earnings, folks. Listen to this: five hundred ninety-six thousand three hundred dollars. Yeah, it sounds impressive. And obviously, there's a, a fair bit of that goes to the trainer and the jockey as well. But uh, look, he's, he's been un unbelievable. I mean, being a f uh, first horse owner, sort of just fell into it. Uh, a mate of mine, Mark Pedrick, just asked me um, to go on a horse one day about a year and a half, two year ago, and. Uh, it's lucky to be turned out like this. Uh, it's one of those lucky, lucky, lucky things. And uh, now being spelled not for the Adelaide Cup next week, but for the Caulfield Cup. So there could be bigger things ahead. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. She remarkable. <laughs> um, I was sitting next to Rex Hunt calling with him on Saturday on AW, and um, I had to call for about four minutes by myself at one stage because he owns Carnegie Pops. Yeah. So he was never <laughs> going to give you any votes on Saturday, regardless of how well you played, because it beat Carnegie Pops out. If you missed it, Mummify won pretty easily. Here's how the race finished. 300 in the SA Derby. The leader pants on fire. Mummify's got through on the inside. Mummify has not gone around to horses. Race to the lead now in the Derby. It's racing away, Mummify. Vicksburg coming home well. Then pants on fire. Nothing else really. A place chance headed by Schumpeter along the rails. Mummify is going to take the South Australian Derby easily. A brilliant ride. Mummify scored by two. Second... Uh, an easy win and you found out during the course of the match that yes, you have got up. Yeah, I was just coming off um, about halfway through the third quarter and um, Dr. Peter Larkin yeah. yelled it out a few times and, uh, <laughs> and I sort of realised, I clicked, I thought, oh yeah, beauty, it's, it's, it's turned out to be a good day so far, but sort of, because I totally forgot about it when the game started and then um, he sort of got involved in the game and then uh, when, he, uh, when he let me know, mm. it was uh, obviously a good feeling.